Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight as we look at hymns for online worship tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow starts Holy Week. It is Palm or Passion Sunday. And so today um, we are going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to give you all the history and talking stuff now. And you can walk through the story um, as it goes. So we'll start with the triumphant um, entry and procession of Jesus on the donkey. And um, that song has long been associated with Palm Sunday and a procession. Uh, it actually came as it originally from a Latin poem, and it had 38 stanzas plus the refrain. You'll be glad to know that our hymn does not have that many. Um, Theodolf, uh, the Theodolf was um, a leading theologian, Frankish theologian, and a bishop and a poet. He actually worked closely with Charlemagne, and he was falsely accused later of plotting against uh, Louis the Pious, and he was imprisoned. That's where he wrote this hymn. Now, there is a story, which is just that, it's a story, it is not true, that um, Louis the Pious heard Theodolf sing this from his jail cell on Palm Sunday morning, and he was so moved and taken by it that he demanded or decreed that it would be played and sung every Palm Sunday thereafter. Um, that is not a true story. Um, Theodolf died in prison, so he was never released. Uh, so that's just a story. Uh, then we will move on to a little bit of Ride On, Ride On in Majesty, which is always sort of an interesting hymn to me. It's a, it's a very dramatic hymn uh, because you're juxtaposing this Ride On in Majesty and Ride On to Die. So it's um, a very interesting juxtapositioning. This is tragedy and victory all put together. And this was actually written in 1820, believe it or not. And it was never published until another seven years later. And in 1907, it was the most popular hymn at the time. So it predated some of our other Palm Sunday uh, hymns. The hymn is sung to a variety of tunes. Well, this is St. Drosten, which is actually from the service book and hymnal, their old red hymnal, if you can remember that one. And the ELW, the new cranberry, or the new red hymnal, uses the King's Majesty tune. Then we will move to the sending hymn, which is there in God's garden. And this is where we sort of take a turn and we go into the passion portion of Sunday. And this hymn was actually written with 15 verses long, long ago, and it focused on the seven last words of Christ. The tune was written much later. It's a, more of a contemporary tune, and it was written specifically for these words. Kaylee Scott from Alabama wrote this, and he was writing the tune setting for the annual Diocese uh, Convention of the Episcopal Diocese of Alabama. And he was pressed for time when he was asked to write this. He said he should have said no. He was in the middle of teaching at two universities. He was a church musician in, I believe, two churches at the time. And he was working on a chancel opera, which had a tight deadline because somebody else couldn't do it. So he assumed that as well. So this tune was actually written from his organ bench at one of his parishes at 11 p.m. one night and then premiered very quickly thereafter. Uh, Shades Mountain is the tune name, and that is actually a part of the Appalachian Trail. It's the first ripple of the Appalachian Trail, and that's where Kaylee Scott has lived for 22 years at the time he wrote this. So those are our three, All Glory, Law, and Honor, which will be organ variations, and then we'll move over to the piano for Ride On, Ride On, and Majesty, and come back to the organ for There in God's Garden, some variations on that too. So it'll be a little bit longer tonight, but you get to listen to a little bit more. So hopefully it'll move you and you can think and uh, envision the walk through Palm Sunday.
frequently asked if I have a favorite hymn, and my standard answer is no, there are too many that I like. Um, but that one would come really, really close to being a favorite. So hopefully that was uplifting for you, and you could reflect a little bit on what's to come in the week. So for next week, we have a special treat. We will premiere on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. a special music minute, which will include music for Holy Week. And that will be available after 7 p.m. on Wednesday, and you can listen anytime you wish. There will not be a live music minute next Saturday, uh, the day before Easter. So thanks again for joining, and may you have a blessed Holy Week.